We're back in Colorado, obviously. It's Monday morning. I have so much to do today after being gone for like four days. Um, work and just like around the house. Honestly, we have no groceries. Our yard needs to be cut. Dylan normally does that, but we needed to like, everything bloomed and like everything is so overgrown in our front yard and our backyard and we're like not used to having a yard. I need to get groceries, I need to do laundry. All of that. So I'm about to go do a workout though. 9.30 to 10.30. Yeah, we got home last night. Dylan and I both did. I think I ended off the vlog right when we got home. And I'm starting up a new one. So if you're new here, my name's Rachel. I live in Fort Collins, Colorado with my fiance Dylan. We're getting married next year. And yeah, I just vlog basically every day of my life and show you guys everything and what I'm up to all the time. So if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me over on Instagram. I always am posting stories and all that throughout the day and linking stuff and outfits and all that. I've been super into spring fashion. So I'm gonna go work out and then I'll catch up with you guys. I got a bunch of packages and stuff. I thought it would be fun to like unbox with you all and do like maybe a getting my life together vlog on a Monday, grocery shopping, cleaning, all that. So yay. We missed you so much. You can't have this, it's chocolate. Sorry, but we really missed you. go home for my workout I just made two little hash browns these are the Trader Joe's breakfast hash browns they're so good and then I put an egg on top everything with the bagel super quick and easy we have like no fresh vegetables or fruits I'm gonna go grocery shopping in a little bit I'm gonna pick up do some emails and eat this super quick I just got done doing some stuff Ow. Thought I would sit down before I start unpacking and just kind of show you some things that I picked up in New York I love personally watching hauls and so I thought I would share. Um, I got a few things. Oh, I gotta go get one more thing that I've already worn. I obviously got a wedding dress. I am so excited about it, you guys. If you missed the New York vlog, I went to New York with my mom for my birthday um, and to wedding dress shop. It was just her and I. It was such a special weekend. So I'll link it below in this video in case you guys wanna watch it, but we also obviously did some shopping while we were there. Gotta do what you gotta do, you know? So mostly everything I got is from Zara, minus a few things. I love myself a good Zara trip. And the Zara that we that we went to, um, we stayed in Soho area. So the Zara there was like three levels. It was so big, had such amazing stuff. So I got a good bit of stuff. So I'm gonna kind of go through it quickly and I will also put, um, I'm not gonna link all the pieces, but I'm gonna put the style numbers down below so you guys can just like go on and type them in. Um, it's just like easier because I have all the tags and stuff. So first up, I got this little beaded necklace, which if you would have asked me like a few months ago, I'd have been like, I don't know if I'm into that, but it's super cute. I've seen it on a ton of people with like bikinis and stuff and I have a trip coming up and like obviously the beach and stuff this summer. So I thought that this was really fun. Just a little beaded set. Super inexpensive too. I feel like stuff like this that's like trendy, you don't want to spend a ton of, ton of money on. So this was $19.90. Good price. Super cute. The thing I love about Zara is they have good prices but also good quality. Um, I also got this like little one shoulder uh, when I go out at night in like Fort Collins and stuff and like dinner, it gets kind of chilly. So I feel like this is still a good top for spring and summer just cause it does have like that one sleeve but it's still a really thin mesh. I get everything in a size small and then their pants I get in a size four. These I got in black a while ago and I love them so much. I actually wore them on the trip so I actually saw them in store and picked them up in tan. These are the best flowy trousers. I'm obsessed with trouser pants, you guys. I got these in a size small. And they're just so good with literally anything. You can wear a long top, you can wear a crop top, you can wear a sweater, you can wear sneakers, heels, literally anything. They're the best pants ever. So I have those in black and tan now. And then I also got this pair of black um, pants. These are a little bit on the thinner side. I think that they're a little bit see-through maybe, but really cute for throwing over swimsuits and things, just like the long flowy pants. I feel like these are really my vibe for pants because I try to be into jeans, but unless you have like the perfect, sorry, my extension is like itching from my workout. It just isn't it. So I, that's why I love like trouser pants and stuff because you don't have to worry about the wash and all that, but just like the fit and stuff is always so good. 
in my opinion. So that's that. Um, okay, next up. Oh, I also got the pants in pink because I'm that obsessed with them. So here they are in pink. I think these are a little bit different, but pretty similar. Got these in a small as well. Um, and my sister, Sarah, has a gender reveal coming up in a few weeks. I'm going to be vlogging it, which is going to be so exciting. But I figured I would wear these for the gender reveal. Um, I literally cannot wait for that. So that's fun. I loved the colors of this top. I have a lot of long sleeve blouses, but I thought that a short sleeve would be cute with jeans or even the trousers tucked in. So I always get my tops from Zara, like unless it's a top that's tight and fitted. If it's flowing, I want it to be oversized. I always do a large because I just am taller. So I like the length, but I also like the width. So I always do larges and tops like this, but then that tight little sweater top, I got a size small. So, okay. And then I got this the first day we were there and then I ended up actually wearing it the second day and I loved it so much. I went back and got another color. So I wore this on my birthday, this little blazer vest. So obviously oversized blazers are super in for spring oversized with like a little crop underneath, but it gets kind of hot. So sometimes having a huge blazer on is hard. So I found these little blazer vests, which I, I'll insert some photos of me wearing it on my birthday. It is so cute and the whole entire side is open and I am literally obsessed with them. They fit so, so well. I got a size small. Um, they also had like a plain white. This is like the cream color. And then I went back and ended up getting it in black because I was like, I know this is going to be such a good staple to add to my wardrobe, to have just all of that. I'm obsessed with these tops, you guys. If you're looking for something like a little bit on the dressier side, these look so cute with the trouser pants. So you got to get them. I'll put them in the description. That is everything from Zara, I believe. And then... Where did I go to next? Oh, I got this um, little workout dress from Outdoor Voices. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about these specifically. Danielle Carolyn wears them and she looks super cute in them. I was gonna order this dress online a few weeks ago in black. Um, when I saw that she was posting about it, I was like, oh my God, she looks so cute in it. That would be so cute for spring. So I was gonna order in a medium and I'm so glad that I waited because I knew I was coming to New York and I knew that there was a store near our hotel. So I ended up going in and trying it on. They didn't have black, but I ended up getting it in white, which I actually really, really like, but I ended up getting an extra small. So it does, in my opinion, run a little bit big. So um, I'm 5'9 and I'm still an extra small and the length is still pretty good. It is a hundred bucks, but if you think about it, you're getting like a skirt and a workout top and it's like fully lined. So it's really, really nice material, really nice quality. You could always put like a little jacket, a sweater or whatever, um, dress it up, down. So I really, really like it. I'll probably order the black as well. Super cute. And then I went to Aloe Yoga and I got two new sports bras. I wore this sports bra on the plane yesterday and I have to share with you guys because it might be the best new sports bra fit of my life. It's more low impact, so it's more for like lounging and just wearing it day to day instead of like a high intensity workout like today I have on my set active, which is more of like a high intense type of thing. But this bra is so good, you guys. It's so soft, so comfy. Like I wore it for, I had a really long travel day yesterday and it was so comfy. Sometimes I feel like with my bras, they'll start like digging in and all that kind of stuff, but these, are so good. I need one in every color. I love the bottom. Super nice, thick ribbed material. It says aloe on the back. It's just so cute, so good. And I wear a size medium. And then I also got this bra, which I feel like I've been eyeing this for quite some time. I've just never bought it because I didn't really know how it was gonna fit. Sorry, there's like fuzz. So this is the slip bra and I got this in a size medium as well. And I really, really like this one. This is a little bit more for like a high intense. So like I would wear this to my cycle class or like running or whatever. There's a hair on my lip. Had on a small at first, but I ended up doing the medium just because obviously there is a slip there and you don't want your boob like coming out of the bottom. So it's super cute on, I love it. You guys will be seeing me style these pieces and wear these pieces over on Instagram and stuff. So make sure you follow me over there. That is everything like clothing wise that I got. I did um, purchase a bag for myself and I actually purchased two bags for myself, but um, yeah, it was a splurge birthday and I felt very thankful, blessed, lucky to be there. It was just such a good trip. Um, I did come home to a package from David's Bridal, which I thought I would include in here. Um, we went and saw the David's Bridal showroom in New York. They like invited us over, which was so nice of them. And they sent me a little bag of stuff to the house. So it's so cute. So they sent me this huge tote bag and then 
stuffed it with a ton of stuff. I actually just unboxed it, so I haven't even looked at it, but it says, congratulations on your engagement. We just wanted to send you some goodies to kick off wedding planning at David's Bridal XO, the social team. So, so cute. Thank you, David's Bridal, if any of you guys are watching this. I don't know if you are, but oh, super cute little silk robe. Oh my gosh, I love this color with a tan. That's so cute. A little bride hat. I don't have like anything bride because honestly I'm not super into it, but I feel like for like a bachelor trip and all that kind of stuff, it is really fun. So like this will be super cute. Just a little hat that says bride. Let's see what else we've got. Ooh, this is fun. Little jade roller, double-sided. Some socks that say the bride on there. They also sent me, I think a little notebook, a wedding planning notebook. So fun. So thank you, David's Bridal. So sweet of you guys. Um, and then I got a ton of new phone cases and stuff with Case Defy coming up. Um, just a ton of stuff. So I thought I would show you all of that little haul. I also came home to the prettiest little bouquet of flowers my management sent me for my birthday. They're so pretty. I loved that because we obviously didn't have any flowers because we haven't been home. So it's nice to have these. I think I'm gonna start putting away my suitcase and getting all these clothes hung up on my rack in my office. And then I think we're gonna go, sorry, you guys are on like a huge tripod. I think we're gonna go to the grocery store. We have no groceries and I just like hate having to eat out, eat out, eat out. And once you've been eating out all weekend being gone, it's nice to come home and be able to like cook a home cooked meal. So um, I'm gonna go to the grocery store, do some errands. I might go take Winnie on a little walk and maybe get a coffee. It's like 11 something, so still kind of morning-ish. Do you wanna go get a coffee with your mom? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My mom also got me these little books for my birthday. So I think I'm gonna sit through these and kind of see if there's any type of recipe. There's literally so many good things in here that maybe we could have this week because I don't know, I wanna try something new. Like I really wanna make a nice like summer fresh salad. So maybe we'll try something like that. Before I head to the grocery store, I love to make a list so that you're not just like buying a bunch of random stuff, but super cute little books. I think she got them from Home Goods. <laughs> I mean, have you ever seen anything cuter? Winnie, you are the cutest thing I've ever seen. I made the mistake of sitting down um, after filming that little haul. Uh, all the clothes are still laying there and I made the mistake by sitting down and I'm just so tired. I'm gonna set my camera here because it's heavy on my arm. My arms are sore, but I wanted to pick up the camera because I made the mistake of sitting down and I was gonna hang up my clothes, get ready, go to the grocery store, which I still like have to go to the grocery store, but I just wanted to like come on here and be real because I get a lot of comments and stuff and questions saying, how are you always so productive? And like, yes, I still am probably going to have a productive day, but there are times throughout the day where I just want to sit on the couch and turn on a movie or a TV show and just like take a nap or relax. And there are days that I do nap. I try not to just so I can go to bed earlier. Um, I find if I nap, it like takes up a big portion of my day because I don't like to just do like a 20 or 30 minute nap. I take like a two hour nap and then it messes up my sleep schedule and all of that. So I worked out this morning, which has me exhausted. My legs are like absolutely shot. It was leg day. So my legs are like jello and I just have so much to do like laundry and like putting away and clothes wise, like the non fun stuff that I just am sitting here and I'm just like, it can wait. So I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know. Cause I always get comments saying, Rachel's so productive, like I wish I was like that, blah, blah, blah. And how is she so productive? And just like things like that. And yes, I am productive on days, but there's also days that I don't show where I literally am like a couch potato where I just stay here. So it's normal. And don't think that like if you have one of those days or if you're going through something or something like that, like it's not not normal to just sit here and relax. Like take a second for yourself, go outside to have some fresh air make a snack, watch your favorite show. Who cares if it's 1.30 in the afternoon? Like, do you, do what makes you feel good? Because in reality, if you're go, 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 every single day, 24 seven, you're going to run yourself out and it's just not good. So I just wanted to pop on the vlog and show you guys. I'm gonna sit here and do some planning. This always helps when you feel maybe like a little bit overwhelmed. Still haven't changed out of my workout clothes, but 
It's okay. So today is Monday the, what's the date? The 24th. So I'm just going to use the schedule for today as my grocery list. And then just so I can have my to do and my grocery list on the same, um, I'm going to do like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday dinners. And then normally the weekend, especially because it's Memorial weekend, we'll probably be eating out. So, so I was thinking tonight we were, we would maybe do salmon. I love to buy like fish fresh that day and cook it. So maybe salmon and I was trying to find something to do with it. I really want like some type of summer salad, but I think I might save that for tomorrow. Interest is my go-to you guys. If you don't. If you don't go on Pinterest for your recipes, what are you doing? Oh, maybe we could do citrus grilled salmon. That sounds so good, but we don't have a grill. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe we could just do the cast iron skillet. I don't know. Two oranges, which I have. Lemons. Okay, I need two. I just ran. What the heck? Winnie here. Um, I just ran to the bank, the post office. I swear, you guys returning packages are like my least favorite thing. I mostly, for the most part, do all my shopping online just because we don't really have stores here in Fort Collins besides like a few, but mostly everything I like to order is always online and it's such a hassle for me, even if it's like a prepaid shipping label. And I live so close to the post office. I don't know why I am the way I am. I feel like I'm not the only person. I feel like I've heard other people say that like returning stuff they just are like uh but especially if you don't have a printer and stuff you have to go like print out the printing label and it doesn't like come with it that's why i love shopping on revolve because they do the prepaid shipping label and then like when i order my warby parker glasses and all that it's literally like the label just comes with it which is so much better than having to go and print it off it's such a simple but sorry i'm chewing gum <laughs> My little grocery haul just turned into a full entire restock, so I'll do a huge haul when I get home. Such a nice day out. Open up the sunroof. You guys, I think this is the biggest grocery haul we've done yet. <laughs> I feel like it's never taken up this much of my counter, but I'm just gonna, I literally laid everything out for you all. Um, normally I'm a Trader Joe's girl, but I went to Whole Foods for the main reason of getting all of like our meats and stuff. So I got ground beef, um, salami. I got some fresh, um, smoked turkey for lunch sandwiches, chicken breast. I got salmon and then I got some, um, what are these again? Brats, I think. Yeah, beer brats. And I love Trader Joe's, but I don't love their meat selection, so I always tend to go to Whole Foods. And lately, I haven't been loving Trader Joe's bread either. It's been going bad super quick, so I got a fresh loaf of sourdough from Trader Joe's and then fresh um, everything but the bagel. Wait, <laughs> I got everything bagels and then some flour tortillas. So that's all right there. And then I guess I'll just start over here. I got two of things of these crackers. I got the everything and then the original. These are my favorite crackers ever with like chicken salad or any types of dip hummus literally anything and then i also picked up some whole foods tortilla chips these are like made in-house and they are so yummy um i got some taco shells these are the siete i've never tried their taco stuff but i've heard it's good so we'll try these we're gonna have taco night tomorrow some skinny pop just for whenever we're like watching tv and stuff lately i've been craving like some popcorn at night um, I got some croutons and I also got Caesar dressing. We're going to do Caesar salads one night and then also got feta cheese. I'm going to try to make a little like spring arugula feta watermelon salad. We'll see how that turns out. I had one in New York and it was so good. Um, roasted garlic hummus. This is my favorite. Got some Chobani yogurts for like yogurt parfaits. I got a big thing of this Gouda cheese just for like crackers and stuff. Dylan and I love to snack on cheese. Literally finally had the oat milk in stock in this brand. I love the Malk brand, but they always only have the almonds. So I was so excited when I saw the oat milk. I got some regular milk, some eggs, salt, not salt, butter. I am exhausted today, you guys. I got some butter. 
Um, this is like so random. I got mayonnaise. I got a creamy Caesar. This is just like the Whole Foods brand. And then the balsamic vinegar just for some dressings around the house. I got mint again for that salad. Cucumbers, my literal favorite thing ever. Some frozen broccoli just to have on hand. Um, cilantro for my salsa. Shaved Brussels sprouts. I always just buy regular, but I feel like shaved will get super crispy and won't take as long in the oven. Um, green onion. I got these mini cucumbers for salad, so I'm excited about those. I go through cucumbers so quick, you guys. And then just like the normal stuff, so we got mushrooms, tomatoes, potatoes, tomatoes, <laughs> onions, avocado. Got some baby spinach and then baby arugula. And then I also picked up this, which I thought would be good with the brats that I got. So they're just like kebabs that are already made. I think it was six, yeah, seven bucks for three of them. I feel like that's not too bad. And so we'll just put them. I really want to get a grill for our backyard. So maybe we'll do that before we make those, but who knows if not, we'll just put them on the oven. Got a whole entire new thing of these Grillo's pickles. If you know, you know, literally the best pickles ever. Um, and then I got a ton of fruit, my favorite thing. Huge thing of strawberries, some lemons and limes, peaches. These looked so yummy and they're like almost ready to eat so i'm so excited about those i got a watermelon bananas mangoes i wanted to get normal mangoes but i had to get these i'm not exactly sure i think they're called champagne mangoes they're just kind of a little bit smaller i hope they have the same taste because i need them for the mango salsa tonight so i wanted to make sure they were ripe then i got some frozen mango frozen peaches uh these i'm so excited about these little watermelon popsicles. I love having some type of like sherbet popsicle something at night. And then I also got some poppies and olipops. The vintage cola literally tastes like Coke. And then these are so refreshing. I'm like into Coke recently and I hate that. So these are like such a great option. So I'm going to put everything away. My camera's about to die. So I'm going to charge it and then we'll see what we get into next. You guys, me and the ice is just a tragic situation. Do you want to hang out with me outside? Winnie, what are you doing? Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And I'm proud of myself because I was going to stop at Starbucks, but I didn't. So all the groceries are put away. I need to get on my computer and respond to two emails that I have. And yeah, I don't know what's up with me today. Like I'm having, I feel like an off Monday, but also being, what do you want to do? Give me your toy. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this toy. I feel like I'm having an off Monday, but also like being weirdly productive. Like I worked out and all that. Grocery shop, stock the fridge, cleaned out the fridge, cleaned out the pantry. I have laundry going, but I just feel so tired and worn down. I don't know what it is. So I think I'm gonna cook dinner early tonight. And if Dylan is at home, could you please be quiet? <laughs> um, I might just eat on my own and save his plate because I'm just like ready to call tonight, kind of early tonight. So I bought the salmon to make the mango salmon salsa for dinner. And I think we'll do maybe some potatoes and shaved Brussels sprouts. So. I will um, link the mango salsa recipe and then you just put it over your grilled salmon. <laughs> it's only 3.30 so I'm just going to make the mango salsa so we can like marinate and get cold in the fridge. So basically the recipe is two mangoes, half a red onion, a lime, red bell pepper, sea salt, and then cilantro. Super easy, dice it all up, and then it's just gonna marinate in the fridge, and then when I make the salmon, you just serve it cold over on top of the salmon. I also hired this really cute lawn boy recently. <laughs> and um, he has an audience, so it's cute. Good morning, you guys. It's like seven o'clock. I have a, um, what do you call it? Appointment at the dealership for my car. My car has like 
a part that is on recall, I guess. So I have to go drop my car and Dylan's at work and he said he can maybe take me back to my car, but in the mornings they have like staff meetings and all that. So he can't come and pick me up. So I'll either just call an Uber or I will see. I think that the dealership has some type of shuttle service at the dealership I go to. So um, they might be able to just bring me back. And then I think I'm going to like, since I can go to a workout and stuff, since I won't have a car, um, I think Winnie and I will just go on like a long walk, which is fine because yesterday was leg day and my legs, I just stood up for the first time and my legs are literally so sore. So um, that's what's going on today. Just wanted to say good morning. It's the next day. I carried the vlog into the next day because I completely, oh my God, you guys literally forgot to tell you how dinner was or even show you. It was so good the mango salsa is so good that's the only part of the recipe i followed i just cooked the salmon how i normally cook it so if you want to grill it um put in the oven i did the oven and it was so yummy with the mango salsa over so i'll link it that's definitely going to be something i'm going to start making now and you can have it with chips and everything it's so yummy it's not time to get back in bed mom needs to make the bed you need to get out of the bed it's not bedtime anymore <laughs> You guys, why, tell me why I keep talking to my dog in this vlog like she's a literal human. Sometimes, hey, that's gross. Sometimes I look into Winnie's eyes. Tell me if you have a golden doodle and this is just a golden doodle thing. But I sometimes am like, is there a person in there? Like, hey, hey. I swear, golden doodle's eyes look like humans. Hi, Winnie. <laughs> the little raised one eye. <laughs> Really quickly, I wanted to thank Solid Gold Pet for sponsoring today's video. You guys know this is the dog food and dog treats that I give Winnie. So Solid Gold was the first holistic pet food company in America. They started in 1974 and their platform is inspired by their founding belief that high quality food is the best way to help out your pet's mind, body, and spirit. I truly believe that Solid Gold foods are different because they really do cleanse the digestive system with having whole superfoods, they have probiotics, they have omega-3s, fatty acids, all of that, which really supports gut health, which I love. So it's nourishing your pet from the inside out. It's really great food, not full of a ton of added ingredients that you definitely probably don't want your dog having. So I really trust them. I love them with Winnie's stuff. They also don't just have dog food. They have cat food as well. They have wet food dry food, they have the treats, which I'm showing here. They're great for her gut health, her skin, her joints, like a ton of stuff. So um, definitely check them out if you are a pet owner. Right now you can save 30% on select Solid Gold products if you go to solidgoldpet.com slash Rachel. Again, it's solidgoldpet.com slash Rachel and you can save 30% on select Solid Gold products. One last time, solidgoldpet.com slash Rachel. I wanna thank them for working with me. Winnie loves you guys. I love you guys the best. A coffee. I woke up. It was one of those days, you know. If you're watching my vlogs, I feel like I always talk about like I either have days where I want coffee immediately or I can wait. Today, I wanted her immediately. I'm vlogging on my iPhone because I just left my camera in my car on accident and I just left it there. But I actually decided to walk home. It's literally only it said it was like a 15 to 20 minute walk, and it's not even maybe a mile so I was like you know what, Rachel you need to just walk anyways kind of sucks though because I'm wearing slides I should have put on tennis shoes but it's fine <laughs> cutting through a parking lot and it's literally so nice outside right now you guys and there's like not really anyone out yet like it's not busy and I think that I want to start waking up earlier because today I woke up at 6 50 and I have not woken up at 6 like at all anytime soon so it's just like a good feeling and it's only 7 55 it's such beautiful weather i have the whole day so if you're watching and you want to start doing this with me cheers i'm also like out of breath because i'm like power walking i don't know why <laughs> you guys i was like in such a positive happy mood and halfway home i realized oh my god i don't have like i just have this small little purse with me so i can't bring like all the stuff i normally would fit in my bag and i was like oh my god i don't have my house key 
because I have the garage cleaner, like my car's the car that goes in the garage and I left it in the car. And now I'm like locked out of the house first off. Winnie is, I'm home. Winnie's literally staring at me like, mom, why won't you let me out? I can't let her out. I can't even let myself into the house. I'm trying to figure out what, what a way I could break in is, but everything is locked up. This has gotta be a joke and Dylan's not answering. And if I walk back, it's another mile and a half and I have to walk. So I'd literally be walking like five miles in my slides. And I'm wearing a sweatshirt with like this little bra underneath and I cannot just wear this bra and it's getting hot out. Happy Tuesday. There could be worse things happening. At least I'm sitting in the sun with my coffee, but like poor Winnie's like, mom, why, why won't you let me out of here? Yay, Dylan's here. <laughs> Babe, I am so not smart today. Thank you. You're welcome. I was getting sunburned. <laughs> okay, you guys, while I was outside, I got to do some thinking <laughs> about our yard. So this is our first time having a yard, so we didn't really have any lawn equipment. We actually went and bought like a lawnmower and an edger and a blower and all that yesterday. No, not yesterday, like a few weeks ago. But yesterday Dylan mowed the grass, which the grass is great, but we have weeds everywhere. So when he gets home, we're gonna go get some weed spray, but like literally growing all up our fence. So we need to get rid of all that. And then it's also, they're also kind of growing all in our rocks. So I think I'm gonna hang out out here and kind of do all that since I can do that stuff on my own. I'm gonna get all of that going, but I wanna clean this up and I really want to just bite the bullet and order some patio furniture. Even if I have to wait, I just want some of it to be ordered because I'm like so sick of looking at these <laughs> beach chairs, just chilling. Like, I mean, I'm thankful that we at least have these that we can sit, but it's just kind of funny. Like we have this little slab of concrete and I would love a big sofa right here and a coffee table, but everything is just so back ordered. Also need to pick that up and just like, I know it doesn't look like a lot, but I want to get some like bigger pots too. And I want to plant some flowers and stuff just because now the weather is really nice. I also want to get like some herb boxes so we can like maybe grow some stuff. Um, not too crazy. Obviously we're just running. So whatever we do here, we don't get a take with, but you guys know what I mean. I just want it to look nice. We can actually like sit out here and enjoy the backyard. I also realized as I was pondering all of my thoughts on the back porch today for an hour. I remember that I got this glow screen in New York. I got this sunscreen because I actually had forgotten my sunscreen while we were in New York and we were in, I think I got this at Bloomingdale's because I feel like it's always sold out at Sephora. I tried a little bit of it one day in New York, but then I put makeup over it. So I wanna do my impression of not having anything on my face. So basically, so it does have a little bit of a tint to it. I normally use the, I normally use this Elta MD and this is the clear and I know that they have a tinted one as well. And I love Elta MD skincare, sunscreen, all that. So we'll see how the super goop is. I've heard a lot of stuff on about it, especially on TikTok. And I definitely, I could tell that it was making me like glow under my makeup. But then again, I was walking around and stuff and didn't really like, Get to give it a full review so we'll put it on today because i'm gonna go outside and do some stuff but consistency is really smooth it doesn't feel heavy weight so i'll link this for you guys again you can get it at sephora i think like department stores nordstrom bloomingdale's but um it does give your skin like a pretty glow for sure and i do like how it does have a little bit of a tint because you could just wear this like all of august i'm gonna be in florida so i'll be like living in this every day Oh, my phone's ringing. Yard work, here we go. Me doing yard work. Did you ever think you'd see it? <laughs> Dylan gave me these gloves out of his truck and when he dropped me off and I think he gave me two of the same hand. So, I'm gonna have to flip it. <laughs> Slowing down, down is what you said. I'ma get it all up in my head. White t-shirt, blue jeans. I can never get enough of you. Bright sneakers on, get in 